Hello, I'm the Game Beaver, and today we're playing more Jurassic World the Game. How you doing? You having a good day? Oh, yeah, better be having a good day. And if you're not, let's see if we can change that, shall we? Right, so we have the Arena Showcase. I, I know it's another old one. Hey, I like going back in the past. I've got a time machine. We can go and do these things. So we're going to quickly start the episode by collecting my uh, mystery pack. And you will notice, look at that DNA, guys. Check it. Check it, look it, dig it, beauty it. In it. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, oh, God, this headphone wise. Tell you what, put it on my shoulder. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, we have two rares to pick up in the uh, hatchery. I've just been doing the live arenas. That's what I've been doing. You want to know how, much, how to get this much DNA? Do the live arenas and don't spend any DNA on anything. <laughs> That's it. Save it. So basically, what I'm wanting to do here is save up for two Indominus Rexes. And then when I save, for, save up for two Indominus Rexes, um, I can either get them or wait for the update, which will come at some point. I'm not too sure when, but when the update comes, there's gonna get we're gonna get aquatic creatures, so we can always buy. I don't know if we need. Let, let's say Mosasaur is as expensive as a T-Rex. This is enough to get 10, maybe, you know, it's basically enough to max it. You need 8 to max it. So we can easily get a level 40 Mosasaur instantly, um, as well as any other creatures. So that's kind of why. We've seen a level 20 Indominus. It is way OP, uh, to say the least. It's like, oh, I'll buy it back. 51, that's okay. I mean, look at that. Look at the attack. Look at that. 2,517 health with almost 1,000 attack. Uh, pretty crazy. Oh, if you look at Unicorn Wizard and pick out your risers, are the same? They have the same stats, but somebody told me that uh, I wish you could arrange these by uh, type. Well, not type. I mean, uh, legendary and stuff. Two thousand. Look, pick out your risers is two thousand nine hundred and ten, and Dimetrodon is three thousand six hundred and ten. So why is Unicorn Wizard? So much more expensive. I just gotta say, because he's a wizard and he's magic and a unicorn. Um, pick out your eyes is pretty cheap because you've got to go pick out your eyes yourself. And it ain't a pick out your eyes until it pick out the eyes. So we have this little arena showcase. And I did have a look at it. We do need to buy back no Zootoceratops. Actually, what level do we need? A level 21 plus. Where's the bull? There it is. And I have three. So. If I had one more, then I, c I could afford to do that, but uh, I'm going to have to buy you back twice, buddy. Um, so basically, we have to use... Have I got a free dinosaur to put in? Oh, I just got Carnotaur, of course. Um, right, so we have to put that in. Now, this is a full-on team. Look at that. Oh, that's a fully evolved Skeletor. Bloody hell. Um, Bloody hell, like Harry. Oh, God. We, do, we need we need herbivores here. So I guess no Zootoceratops isn't too bad. I mean, it is bad. But... Uh, I guess that'll do. I mean, I'm not holding my breath. I think we've won, definitely. But uh, by how much is the question. Because even that fully evolved Skeletor... Halved? Halved its attack is still going to be really good. Look at Pekka Rises, 255. What? This is crazy! Why have I no Zootoceratops showcase against these? No Zootoceratops is terribly outclassed. Just two hits alone from Pekka Urizis is gonna take it out. Oh, luckily it did go for three, so it did waste all its goes. Which does mean that Eucalyptus can come in and easily pick out, um, pick off Pekka Urizis. So with two hits, is it? <gasps> three hits, and there you go. We can put the rest of the other three into reserve. So really, we haven't taken a loss. If you save those reserves early, and then, ha like, use them to take out something, it's so much more effective. There is a tactic to it. It's hard to explain why I'm doing it. I would have to sit down and do the math. Um, basically, put in enough to kill it, then put in two. Oh, no, I think I put in one. No, I made it click twice, but I only clicked once. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that was my fault. I should have killed him there. Now it has a good opportunity to kill me, which it doesn't. It wasted it. It had five. It's a waste. <laughs> it had five, right? It went for two. So that means it has three blocks. Um, and I'm going to guess 100% it went for three blocks. Oh, 
Oh, I went for two. Oh, well. Oh, it's still on five, though. And it definitely can... Oh, it definitely can kill us. Oh, look at that! Three! That means it only has two blocks. We're in a much better situation now because it will only have gone for two blocks. Uh, so two. And we have a full-on four. So that screw up. And it's back on five Double again. Kill. Wow! Interesting. That usually never happens. They never go for, like, some save, some block, some attack. They either go all attack, all block, or all block, all reserve. They never do a mixture of the three. So, pretty much, Eucalyptus can finish this off. Yeah, four. This f four must be enough, right? Triple ah, yeah! If only it was fed a little bit more. I quite like that. Wow, it looks really nice. A fully evolved skeletal. Looks beautiful. And that is gonna have to do it. Reet! 250 DNA. Oh, I forgot about that. That's awesome. We get another one here as well. Uh, so, oh, it's all herbivore. Right, okay. So the only one I need to, I need to buy back here is Nozuto. So, Nozuto Ceratops and... Heck yeah, Unicorn Wiz! It's been a long way. It's about time to bring back the king. It's about time to bring back the king. Right, so they have a Sega Ceratops. And it's killed it. Come on, Unicorn Wizard! Yeah! Beautiful! I am the Unicorn Wizard. Da -da -da -da. My reflexes are quick. So basically, he's got this no matter what they do. I mean, you could go for one. Boom! Ain't gonna do nothing to Unicorn Wizard. But we have to be careful. Unicorn Wizard in this scenario is kind of a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go for that. Ah, nice. Thing's got one block. It did have one block. Unicorn Wizard, Bob takes it out. Ankylodocus is the next one to come in. Is a little bit weaker, but then we stick a Ceratops. Come on, with that song, who couldn't win? All right, two block. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, two, four, six. Yeah, they they could probably kill us in three. Oh, thank God they went for a full-on three block. Go for four attack, buddy, please! Oh, two attack, even better! Ah, oh, nothing can stop Unicorn Wizard, so... Um, basically, they're gonna go for two block here, so... It's dead. Factor in two block. Uh, ooh. And then two, two block, yeah. There we go! Come on, Unicorny! Double kill. Ah, oh, yeah! Unicorn Wizard can't lose! Go for four attack, buddy. Come on, do it. Ah, oh, two. Awesome. It has definitely two block. It will use those two blocks 100%. There you go. We're still in the clear. As long as it goes for four or two. It goes for three. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unicorn Wizard, take your prize. Kills it in three. It only had two, one block. So it is definitely dead. Triple kill. Gets the Trebs kill. Beautiful. And that how is how powerful Unicorn Wizard is. I know you guys were waiting for it, so I thought I'd bring it to you. Oh, almost 54,000. I think to get two Indominuses, we need about 60,000 DNA. So we are getting close. And for the final, a new Zootoceratops. A weaker Stegoceratops. And Coolosaurus. Well, um, I'm going to have to buy back Nozuto anyway. But because I have the king, the one, the only, Indominus. Indominus. Can my Stegos can my Nozuto Ceratops beat theirs? That is the question. Whoop. Oh, hold on. I didn't put the music back on. There we go. So if it goes for two hits, it can't kill us. So I might as well keep on reserving. You see, this is a classic case of attacking and not saving. They've attacked me, but I've been saving this whole time. So yeah, I can kill it in that factor in two and that. It is definitely dead. Oh, yep. Yeah. My wins, my ball beats your ball. Yeah. Eat the ground. Okay, Stegoceratops is definitely going to wipe the floor with me. In two. 
Yep, it, it's only gonna go for two because it knows I only have one turn either for a block or a reserve. And in comes it, Dominus! Who can kill it in two hits? Uh, but this is where it gets a bit scary. Because they will switch. Oh, they didn't! They went for three! Ooh. This is scary. This is scary. One, two, it's dead. Two for block, and one, two, three, four. Hopefully it went for four. It did go for four. I was curious. I thought so. You see, they attacked on the previous turn, which meant they were going to go for all block. Uh, ah, I was wondering if it was going to come in. Go for three. I went for two, so it's only got one block. It's only got one block. So... Ooh, can Stegoceratops kill me? In four, though. I don't know, it's not a fully evolved one. Double. Oh, okay, can it kill me in four? This is the question. 200, 300, 600. Oh, yeah, it can kill me. Ah, nuts. Indominus, man, we played that getting killed by Herbivore. Oh, I survived! <laughs> Just after I thought it couldn't. Why did the, the PC must have known? Why did it bother? 9,000 over 9,000. Why did it bother? Wow. Indominus has saved me so many times. I, that's all I can say. It's proved time and time and again that it is worth everything. All the DNA you plow into it, food, everything, it is worth it. So we get a super rare pack. We get a Paris Rolophus, some bucks! Almost at 6,000 again. Unfortunately, no DNA this time, but that para can definitely be used because I have one, two, three, four. Um, that four, those four can make a level 30, so I will definitely get the level 30. And then from there, I want level 20 and level 10, and the rest can be sold. I want level 40, level 30, level 20, level 10, and that's it. I want all of those for each one. And then after that, when I get multiples, I'll sell them. I haven't done it yet for the uh, amphibians. <laughs> oh. I haven't done it for the amphibians. I've got, you know, some of them have got two level four, sorry, three level 40s. Uh, obviously for missions. Um, but stuff like Prion Sutures, I'm so close. One more Prion Sutures and I've got a level 40. Uh, one more Sukumimus, I've got a level 40. Oh, I need, f I need, I need another four for uh, Ostafrikasaurus. However, um, how about uranium? I need another two. Like, there's a lot that are very close. Now look at this. Argentinosaurus has been replaced back with its old model. Um, you know the big fat stumpy one, which actually I'm more fond of. I think I did. I looked at this one. And I was like, ah, eh, you know what? It's not bad, guys. It's not bad. But you look at that compared to that one. There is so much more character on this than the other one. So much more. And I'm pretty sure it got changed, but they're bringing it back for some odd reason. They brought it back here. The picture is brought back as well. Um, I don't know about that one. I think that one's, yeah, this this model, it's not as good, I will say. I, I like this one. It's, it's different because look, Bonitosaurus, I don't know why I'm showing the old one there. Like, it's very like that. Um, Superosaurus is very like that. Diplodocus is very like that. They're all the same sort of model. They're all like this thin sauropod. Argentinosaurus was this big fat one. That's what I liked. It was different. And now it's just joined the ranks of normal. The only one who's different now is Bonitosaurus. Um, just because it's a little bit thicker. Um, so I do hope they bring back this. I do hope they bring it back. Not this model. Not you. Not you. Hide behind a tree. Hide your head in shame. But I want the old one back. So yes! If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.